Alright, uh, we are about to start a fart lick, the Boston fart lick. There's two fart licks, the Titan Milling and the Boston. I think today is 2 1, I think, I don't know. So we're gonna go head there and see how it goes. Titan Bill. Do you like to come here to watch the fart lick? Do you watch the fart lick here every week? No, no, this is my plot. And oh, the facility that's yours? Oh, okay. is in my lot. Uh, my plot. And where they were practicing, except that I have no dance for anything. Ah, okay. So I also, this, that's this it. also my plot, and that's my house. Oh, cool. Yeah, uh, beautiful. So I'm, I'm not here for nothing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here because I get to open this place. This laboratory mm -hmm. for Tarana. Oh, you build it? Yeah, they are about to. They are coming now. Yeah. Every Tuesday. Yep. And Thursday. Uh, okay. No, it was built by somebody from uh, Netherlands. Uh, okay. It Netherlands. It was donated. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's very nice. But they are paying for uh, the hub keep uh, washing. Yeah. Even you people, mm -hmm. when you come and you don't know anything about it. You have to give out something. Absolutely, that's yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah, you have to give out something because the facility is equal, is not over uh, free to anybody. Right, right, yeah. yeah. You have to pay for it. I agree, yeah, that yeah. seems fair. Yeah. If you want to take your clothes, if you want to pee, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah how are you? Fine, thank you. Hello, Hi. how are you? Hi. Good? I'm good. What's your name? Juguna. Chiguna. And you? Nate. Nick. Nate. Nate. Yep. From where? Uh, America. America? Yep. United States of America. Exactly. Uh, more money. <laughs> yeah. Today, yes, more money. <laughs> more money. Let me warm up for money. Yeah? Today, more money. You yeah. ever race in America? I have never been. Oh, okay. I have never been. Do you have any races coming up? For me? Yeah. No. No. Not the, the, the race that is coming up is City Marathon. Here in Eldoret, was oh, in Kishu County. Is that next weekend? Yeah, April 10. April 10? Yeah, April cool. 10. Awesome. But there are many have been gone abroad away from Milan, Paris, which are the races, big races from weekend, this weekend. Oh, this weekend, yeah, yeah. Paris for sure. Yeah, there's many people who are participating there. And there are also many that have gone already for the abroad, maybe China, maybe US, maybe whatever. Yeah. You know, we are many. Mm -hmm. So everyone on his own focus. Yeah. Yep. Do you Mar run marathon? Yeah, I'm marathon. Cool. Yeah, I run marathon. Nice. Yep. Do you always come here to the Fartlick Day? Yes, I always come here because I'm the group leader. Oh, you are? For four years now. Oh, cool. Yep. Nice. So uh, I think they are coming. They are still coming, but uh, on Thursday, on Thursday when it come to on Thursday, we do, we do, we have to we divide we have two groups. Two groups. Titan Bill and Boston. But Tuesday they all we come together. Yeah, gotcha. that's all. But there are also who goes to the track and field, maybe in Kipchoge, mm -hmm. other in the Tampach, mm -hmm. other in Kapturi, yeah. other in Moiben. So we have so many dimensions. Mm -hmm. So it depends on your on your heart, what yeah. you love. Yes. Yeah. This this gentleman, he's the donor of this of this land. Ah uh, yeah, he's telling me. Yeah, this facility we all both both including abroad and inside the country. We we make contribution to build this facility because we, more than 20 years ago, people they were using these yards of the community. Or the bush. Me on the bush. We yeah. don't call bush. We call the yards. This is not your bush. This is your land. This mm. is the yards. But people they they sneak to the yards to do their business. Mm. But they come a time to reach. It is not a good manner. In the, especially in the hygienic. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's not so, safe. <laughs> so that is why we are raise agenda and this man he he said if you are willing to, to build a, a toilet, I'll give you a run. He's the donor. He's that's the nice. donor. That's great. Yeah. yeah, thank you so much. Everyone really appreciates it. Yes, yes. So what is this strange word that runners keep throwing around? A fartlek? Yes, you heard it correctly. Fartlek is a Swedish word meaning speed play. It's simply defined as periods of fast running mixed with slower running. This could be a mix of sprinting or jogging, or even including walking for beginners. As you heard earlier, the Fartlek days in E10 are either a 3-1 or a 2-1, meaning two or three minutes fast, usually something like a 250k pace, while the slow part may be around a 330k. 
They'll repeat this for around 45 minutes to an hour. You may have noticed Luis is missing at this workout. No, he didn't get dropped already. He was just on the other side of E10 doing the Boston fartlek, whereas we ended up at the Tiran Road fartlek. Our team had a little miscommunication as we made the game time decision before warm up on where we were going to go. Since David and I ended up at Tiran, we decided to make the best of it and film the workout anyway. Filming this workout was quite a challenge. For most of it, I was seated backward on David's motorbike, my legs gripping the seat for dear life as we dodged rocks, ruts, and the occasional goat. We never wanted to interfere with the runners, so we always kept a safe distance, plus some buffer. I did my best to keep everything as steady as possible with the camera, so apologies for the extra camera shake in this episode. It was quite a thrilling experience nonetheless. I pretty much had to put my trust in David to keep us safe as we bombed around the dirt roads. He did a great job though, and I could not have done it without him. It was really cool to be right up front as this pack of elite athletes pushed themselves to their limits. No training day is wasted in Kenya. Everybody out there is giving 100% all the time. In the US, most people are out there training for health and fitness, to achieve a personal goal, or maybe they just enjoy exercise. But out here, these guys are training for opportunity. The dream here is to get noticed for being fast and given the chance to race abroad. In Europe or the US, the prize purse for even a modest race win could be enough to come home, buy a farm, and be able to support their family and friends. How's that for motivation? Far leg day, as you can see, it was a really hard day. We had a little bit of a miscommunication there, and there's two far legs that happen here in Iten at the same time in different spots. One is called the Boston far leg, and the other one is a two tire far leg. So it depends, each one does a different type of far leg. So we decided to go to Boston this morning because it was. So we decided to go to Boston because it was 2-1, two, two so 2 minutes on, 1 minute off. And the other one was 3 on, 1 off, and we did that last week, so we decided to go to Boston. But there was a miscommunication, half the team went to one far leg, the other half went to the other far leg, and I ended up without water. And I mean, I did it, it was fine, it was good, it was just really tough, because I, I needed water before the workout, and then during the workout, and then after the workout, ended up being like a... I think we did like 24 kilometers this morning with no water, so it was really tough. But it was a good workout, and I'm done. Now I just get ready for the afternoon uh, shakeout, and that's it. Another good day, but another hard day, and we've been going hard every day this week. So it's been tough, but it's been good. I'm happy to be here. Thank you for watching another episode of Training in Kenya with Luis Orta. We hope you enjoyed this video. We made it with a lot of love and a lot of hard work. Don't forget to subscribe, that way you'll get a notification every time a new video is out. And don't forget to please like, share and comment. Thank you so much, we appreciate it. And remember, more cool content is coming soon. Yeah, YouTube. Yeah. Man, that was crazy.